Hello friends in this video we will discuss how to subtract two vectors numerically also we will find magnitude and direction of resultant vector please make sure you watched part 1 to part 6 then go ahead with part 7 so here is the problem which is based on subtraction of vectors a particle moves at velocity of 5 meter per second at 40 degrees west of north in 10 seconds its velocity changes to 2.5 meter per second south find the acceleration of the particle so we are given two velocity vectors first vector is 5 meter per second at 40 degree west of north and second velocity vector is 2.5 meter per second south here time is also given which is 10 seconds so delta t equals 10 seconds we know formula of acceleration is change in velocity over change in time that means delta v over delta t here delta represents change that means delta v is change in velocity and delta t is change in time so change in velocity would be v2 minus v1 so to find acceleration we need to find change in velocity or v2 minus v1 vector so we have to subtract these two vectors v1 and v2 so first of all let's draw vectors so vector v1 is 40 degree west of north this is our north and we have to move 40 degree west from north this way so v1 would be like this this is our v1 and v1 equals 5 meter per second and then we have to draw v2 which is directing towards south so this would be v2 now we have to draw the resultant vector of v2 minus v1 means r equals v2 minus v1 so we will use head to tail method to draw the resultant we can write the same thing like this v2 plus minus v1 so actually we are adding vector v2 and vector minus v1 so first of all we will draw vector v2 which is directing towards south so this is our v2 and then we have to draw minus v1 so so for minus v1 we have to draw a parallel vector to the v1 and direction would be the opposite yeah, this way so it's minus v1 um we have already discussed how to draw negative vectors in vectors part 2 so please watch vector part 2 to, to go in detail so now from the head of vector v2 we will draw minus v1 so from this point we will draw minus v1 so this is our start point and this one is the end point join them to find the resultant so this is resultant vector r which equals v2 minus v1 now we have to find the magnitude and direction of this resultant vector so for that we will use vector component method let's take another page so here we will put x component and here y components first we will take vector v1 and uh, x component of v1 would be v1x and y component would be v1y so this would be v1y and this would be v1x v1y would equal v1 cos 40 degree because v1y is adjacent to this angle 40 degree so v1y would have cos v1x equals to v1 sin 40 degree and you can see v1x is in the west direction so it would have the negative sign v1y is in the north direction so it would have the positive sign let's plug in values so minus 5 sin 40 degree and this would be 5 cos 40 degree this will give us minus 3.21 meter per second 3.83 meter per second next vector is v2 which is a vertical vector and directing towards the south south is a negative direction so v2y would be the negative here 
v2x or x component of v2 would be zero because v2 is a vertical vector so it would not have any horizontal component and v2y would be minus 2.5 meter per second so now we have x and y components of both vector so using these components we will find the x and y components of resultant vector which is rx and ry you know r equals v2 minus v1 the same equation we will use here rx equals to v2x minus v1x and ry equals to v2y minus v1y we will plug in values with the sign 0 minus minus 3.21 that will give us positive 3.21 meter per second here minus 2.5 minus 3.83 that equals minus 6.33 meter per second so now we have rx and ry using these we can find the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector let's take another page so for the magnitude we use formula root rx to the whole square plus ry to the whole square so just plug in values 3.21 to the whole square plus Minus six point three three to the whole square. A square of minus would be positive, so it will give us seven point one meter per second. This is our magnitude, and for direction, we use tan inverse r y over r x. So this gave us tan inverse minus six point three three over three point two one. This gave us minus. 63.11 degree let me draw the resultant vector so it's like this is east and minus 63.11 degree like this this is our resultant vector r and its angle is 63.11 degree negative 63.11 degree means you have to move south direction from the east if you go up that would be the positive 63.11 So direction would be sixty three point one one degree south of east. So this resultant vector is actually the change in velocity. So we found v two minus v one equals seven point one meter per second, which is the value or magnitude at the rate of sixty three point one one degree south of east. So now we can find the acceleration using this value. Acceleration equals v2 minus v1 over delta t. So it will give us 7.1 meter per second divided by tan 0.71 meter per second square. Direction of acceleration would be the same as the change in velocity, which is 63.11 degree south of east. That's the answer. I hope you understand this topic so far. In the next video, we will discuss triangle law of vector addition. So stay tuned and study more. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and likes for daily updates. Thank you.